<laughs> huge sense of humour. She is the funniest woman alive. My, my Women's Equality Party co-founder, Sandy Toxic. <laughs> that I am round because of Channel 4. It's not my fault. <laughs> but made to eat a great deal of cake, so that's the rare reason. Uh, so this morning, December the 1st, who opened an advent calendar this morning? Yay! Yay! Okay, one per sad. Come on, people. <laughs> so I opened mine. There was a rather cheerful little elf looking at me, uh, which was nice. It, it, roughly my size, actually. It was, um, it was very nice. Um, and I, what I really hope to have opened was a window into a season of goodwill. Wouldn't that be a fantastic thing? Yeah. But it seems to me, it doesn't matter whether you're a Remainer or a Lever or on the left or on the right, we can all pretty much agree that the political system is not working all that well. Yeah. It's sad, it's tragic that we are so divided. It makes me want to weep because this is a wonderful country full of fabulous and extraordinary people. And why we can't all sit down together and work out the best way forward instead of telling lies and instead of pushing uh, ridiculous uh, different sides of the argument is beyond me. So we are here today, the Women's Equality Party, not to support the Labour Party overall, but to support one fantastic woman, and that is Rosie Duffield. Yeah. Yeah. What we need is a parliament made up of the brightest and the best. And Rosie is one of those. Yes. And I will put aside my own party, a party that I helped to start with Catherine, in order to support somebody from another party, because dear God, that's what we should all be doing in order to make sure the best people go into Parliament. It is astonishing that in this country, as an MP, you can be recalled if you fiddle your expenses but not for sexual abuse or harassment unless you actually go to prison. We need women like Rosie standing up for women in this country so that more of them don't leave Parliament. We're seeing a huge exodus of women MPs who have had enough of the way in which they are treated within Parliament. Today is a fantastic day. December the 1st, it was today in 1919 that Nancy Astor became the first woman to take her seat in Parliament. How pleased she would be today to see us all <laughs> fighting for Rosie. It was today in 1955 in Montgomery, Alabama, that Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on the bus to a white man. And we remember her today. And we fight for all the women who are downtrodden in the name of Nancy Astor, in the name of Rosa Parks, and now today in the name of Rosie Duffield. Let's make sure she is returned to Parliament. Yeah.